In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, with Mother Nature constantly showing us who is boss, we finally get dried in with the roof getting completed, the insulation started, and our windows installed. Then, when the snow arrives, we share what it is like living on the homestead in our RV while waiting for the shop house to reach a stage to move inside. That's your spot in front of the heater. What were you doing? off the ice from the door GM so maybe the seals will seal a little bit better so yeah when it's negative 20 we get a lot of ice coming through the, uh, the walls and doors um, you know truly cold soaked at these temperatures and we're, we're just trying to <laughs> do all we can to keep it from getting all the way in trying to survive we're making it happen we're doing it no frozen pipes last night Yep, and it was our coldest night yet. Uh, 20.4. Four below zero. Dang cold. Should we go check out the house? Yeah. It won't be any warmer yet. <laughs> We're getting there though. Oh, it is a frosty one. We've got our fur hats on. Honestly, this is a way to keep warm. It's amazing how much the fur keeps you warm. And of course, I'm keeping Sophie warm. Come on, Spirit. Come on, girl. She always wants to go to the road. The road leads to different places. She doesn't always want to be home. She, she's tired of being stuck in the RV. So are we. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Spirit. Yep. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. All right. How's the old trailer? Doing just fine, collecting a little bit of snow. Um, might have to brush it off here in a little bit to uh, go receive a shipment here soon. Yes, our generator. Exactly. Backup generator. Yes, and it, it might just stay there for a little while. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. <laughs> see how the install. See, we'll see what we can do about an install. Right. So, yeah. And right. we also have another shipment that might come in, and I have to we have to go get go get two. That might fit in the back of the truck, though. I doubt it. What? Are you talking about our snow machines? No, 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 no. Oh, my, you're... My you're, Black Friday deal. Yeah, your new... Uh, new smoker. Smoker. We have left the Traeger family. Ah. And we are now... What are we? Rectech. I got the Rectech 1250 coming. Big, nice, big smoker. Not their biggest one. They have a BFG. I bet you know what that means. Smoker. It's huge. I don't need that big. All right. It'll be nice. It'll be nice to have a new smoker. You want to explain what they've been doing this week? 
Uh, well, so yeah, this this week, um, quite a big uh, achievement today. Uh, this week, um, actually on Thanksgiving, we had a crew of workers here installing our windows. So we've got all of our windows installed. Nope, not all of them. Actually, yes, all the windows minus one sliding door. They they mixed up a little bit on the on the order and forgot to get a sliding door for us. Um, still waiting on exterior doors, but we did get the full shop. The, the Boaton RV shop right here is completely spray foamed in. And then Monday, they're coming back and they're going to work on the mechanical room and the toy shed. Yeah, today is just too cold to spray. Well, it's, it's Sunday. The guy needs a day off. Yeah. Um, and Monday is supposed to be like 15, 20 degrees warmer. It'll be like... 30. Well, it's supposed to be 20 degrees. Oh, yeah. So it'll be 30 degrees warmer. <laughs> Almost 40. Anyway, if they, can, they get this mechanical room done sprayed and then the sheetrock is supposed to be here monday too and if they can get the mechanical room sheetrock we can get our boilers in and start heating the place up so gosh i'm hoping that could happen this week so we can move inside here instead of being out over there yes so we're going to live with the the whole plan this whole build was to live in the shop during the coldest part of the winter i don't know if that happened yet because we're still outside and it's 20 below hmm. anyway it's not supposed to be this cold this time of year it's supposed to get really cold in january so hopefully in january when it gets 30 below we're going to be in the shop all right let's go inside and take a look go into the toy shed here and go on into the yeah. shop oh look at that beauty this is our first uh, view of it completely done. Well, they left here last night about five o'clock or so, and we were, it was later than that. It was, I don't know what time it was, but uh, I was like, hey, do we go see you after they left? It's like, mm, I'm pretty warm and comfy in the, in the motorhome, so we didn't go. So here we are now. And uh, in daylight, it's easier. Yeah. That's, we have, so these are two by six studded walls so you can see that there's about four inches or more of spray foam in these walls that gives us a real nice uh, high r value of around 28 plus so that should be oh no eight six uh, seven fourteen yeah 28 that should be pretty good garage doors hopefully will arrive this, this week, week. Ooh, that'd be so awesome and you can also see up here So on the eaves, in the soffits, they put cardboard baffles in there to allow for venting up into the attic. And then they spray foam the baffles in place and all around the baffles, so there's no air penetration up there either. And then above, in here, above, above the sheetrock, will be um, cellulose spray-in, or uh, uh, foam, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, blown-in insulation. It'll be, I don't know, 40 some inches deep. Of low end insulation. So super insulation up there, too. Very cool. <laughs> That's some pretty good stuff. All right, nice, rigid, rigid product. That's gonna be. That's good. I mean, it's just. Makes a solid wall. Earthway proof. That's nasty looking. It's scratched. <laughs> wow. Cool. It's there, not mine. That spray foam snowman almost. Take a little knife and carve them out, and you got a, a snowman. <laughs> Without a head. I can't see it there. So this is their next area, targeted yeah. area. So mechanical rooms over there, and I'm, I'm hoping we can get, get them to start in there Monday so we can get She Rock to get in there too and get that done and get some heat going. Yeah, we need heat, that's for sure. It's cold. However, heat wave coming tomorrow. Oh yeah, 30, 30 to 40 degrees warmer tomorrow. Crazy. It'll still be 20. Here's some uh, temporary outside doors for us, for the shop and the 
car garage. Car garage. Well, these are temporary doors because our the doors we ordered are not going to be here until February or March or whenever. So temporary doors until they get here. Walk into our kitchen. And here's the living room. Oh, oh you just built that. That's, that wasn't here yesterday. Yeah, we haven't come all the way in the house for a couple days yet. Gary's in the kitchen. You have windows up there. Actually, I'm, I'm on the top of the countertops right now. <laughs> You're on your island. There we go. There you go. In front of the sink right here. We go over here, the, the important part right here, where all the fun's going to happen. That's the stove. Range. Oven. Range. Double oven. Freezer. Refrigerator. Coffee center. Day pantry. Yeah, day pantry right there. And then this is our big pantry. We'll probably put a, a freezer in here. Maybe, a, actually, maybe a refrigerator in here. I'm not sure what we're gonna put in here, but um, and then just all dry goods storage and and uh, uh, kitchen tools and accessories. Small, and small, small appliances. appliances. And this is our mudroom. Right. Right off the two-car two garage. Two-car garage. We're also going to put a couple of freezers out here uh, in the garage. Uh, just because when you're up here, you need freezer space. It's very important. We go fishing and we go hunting. And we need a place to put those goods. Got to fill the freezer. Yes. Oh, look the pretty sun. Welcome to upstairs. And you can see our view. It's gorgeous. Yeah. This is going to be our den. Small TV here, probably. I don't know. I was pretending. Why go, why go small? Let's go 100, 100, 100 inch TV. <laughs> Does it make those? I don't know. Careful, a big step. Don't go out uh, on the deck yet. Yep. Um, so there's our view. I opened the door because the door is frosty. You can yeah, see it better. We're still not heated. No. Hi, Spirit. What are you doing down there? Spirit. Oh, she's in the woods. Come on. Oh, she's sniffing a track. I can see there's, there's footprints she's following. Actually, those ones go right, right by the burn pile. That's moose. That's all moose right there. It's probably from the bull that was in the yard yeah. the other night. Well, they're they're cheating and taking bites off the burn pile. <laughs> <sighs> Actually, all this stuff I need to put on top of those burn piles to help with the snow, too. I can't feel my fingers. But, uh, yeah. It's this cold. I don't know why. It's 10 below. I, I had to switch hands. So I apologize if you see a couple of fingers get in the way. But uh, yeah, this is our den. This is where we planned our hangout space. Over here we have a propane fireplace. There will be a little seating area. Um, uh, there's two slash bedrooms up here, but the one on the right is my craft room. This is where I plan to get crafty on those long winter nights or days and uh here's our missing slide order that we don't have yet that will get dried in for now until it gets here but and out this window this is straight north so we're calling this the aurora balcony or a place i can go to film the northern lights here's a jack and jill bathroom separating the two bedrooms so we've got a Toilet, shower, double vanity sink. And this is our guest room when we get visitors. This will be their room. And in here, nice size closet and with uh, stacked laundry. Just keeping my coffee warm. We got a little cold. This is, you gotta keep the coffee warm when you're out here days like today. Okay. What? Don't start that on fire, please. Oh, it's not cool. <laughs>
funny, not funny. We don't need to burn down our house. So as you can see, there's where we're staying. Oh, burr. Beautiful 10 below day. So leaving the guest room back out onto the mezzanine. Another balcony. Again, watch your step. That will be here in the future. But the views are outstanding. Yes, they are. All right, so that's the tour of the house. Get the sunshine on us. My uh, fox has a interesting part. Your bobcat is uh, a little better. These hats, these fur hats, let me tell you. Way fur is the way to go when it's negative. Yeah, trying to get that in my collar. Gary's oh, hat is bobcat and river otter. river otter, and mine's all uh, silver fox. But beautiful. I think it's time to go in. Actually, it is Yellowstone Day. Oh, yeah, get ready to so go. So it's time to go get our laundry, yep. our shower supplies, because we go over to Mike and Bobby's and get an endless hot shower. I don't think it's endless, but just long hot showers. <laughs> Longer than we could ever do in the motorhome. Yes. Do our yep. laundry and watch Yellowstone. So hope you enjoyed this quick tour uh, during this process of the build. See ya. Good morning. Today is December 2nd and it is a brisk five degrees right now. Uh, it actually warmed up earlier this week to like the teens, which honestly felt like t-shirt weather. But with that warmer weather, we also got about another four inches of snow over the last 48 hours. So Gary is up on the roof getting any snow off the top so when it comes time to move into the shop we hopefully knock on wood won't have any issues unburying the rv and getting out of here and into there the sheet rockers are here today we can hear them zipping in uh the sheet rock so that's exciting that's one step closer to uh getting us indoors when Gary and I are experiencing cabin fever, we tend to hop into the car and drive. And today we headed to Talkeetna to visit a Christmas market and enjoyed a wonderful breakfast at the famous Swiss Alaska Inn. The food was wonderful and I would highly recommend them for breakfast if you're in the Talkeetna area. It was a great day that ended seeing a dog team running the park's highway as we headed home. And that is why we have to keep Sophie on a short leash. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep 
Yeah, spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. 'Cause I missed you so, I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Welcome to the Big Lake Christmas Parade and fireworks. It's gonna be a good one, and you know what? This is in celebration of Christmas and our anniversary this tomorrow. Yeah, how many years? Nine years. Yes. So today is December 11th, and uh, we can see down the road. That's the start of the parade. So we're gonna show you a little snippet of what it's like to be at a Christmas parade in Alaska. I might mention, when we were in the car, I saw it was like one degree out. Well, yeah, I might mention that there's a fire station across the street that says nine right now. Oh. <laughs> well, at our house, it was one. Yes, it was. It's a little warmer here. <laughs> hey, Santa Claus! I wish I had more footage for you, but because of the extreme cold, my phone malfunctioned and I only got this little bit of video. So, hope you enjoy, and once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Next time on Living Free Alaska, the sheetrockers have moved in and it's starting to feel like a home. Our boilers are installed and it's almost time to fire them up and heat up the house. And it's Christmas in Alaska, and Stacy flies down to Washington to bring her mom up for the New Year's holiday. Join us next time on Living Free Alaska. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.